And for your viewing pleasure, you got an 036, lower, upper transfer work. Um, I didn't like the shape of the intake port. So I threw a little epoxy in there. I still got one little booger I need to clean up right there. But I just didn't like it opening up. That's that low. Um, what else we got? Oh, yeah. Exhaust port. Stuff. That looks like nice old school stuff right there. Anyway, can't wait to see how it runs. This is... There's your money shot. Let's go run it. And here we have one of the headaches of working on older saws. You know, I fired this 036 up before the performance work and it, it needed like a, a slight tune and you know, it, it did fine. I didn't do any cutting with it, just fired it up, runs, revs, idles. Um, and you know, maybe it magnifies it now that we've got a little bit more performance work done to it. But I got this back together after doing the port work and I'm chasing the idle around, you know, it just wouldn't settle in. And every once in a while coming off a full throttle, it would fall down on its face and die. So I'm like, okay, so first things first, uh, got the exhaust blocked off, the intake blocked off. And I do a vacuum and pressure test. And I got a tiny, tiny, tiny leak here at the decompression button, but not enough for it to wander like that. Um, so now it's time to take a look at the carburetor. And let me see if I can't find. So here's, this is a Zama C3. Uh, there's a little bit of memory in this. You know, if you look at it, there's, I don't know, it's not too bad. Um, you know, the diaphragm wasn't in, in horrible shape. And then I pressure tested it, and I find I'm not getting a good seal with the old needle. So, and there's the yellow or the red-tipped needle. So that's, yeah, that's pretty common. I can't get it in there, but you'll I, you can see like a little bit of, of memory in the tip of that rubber. So I had an old school kit sitting around from yesteryear. And uh, I said, hey, let me throw this in there. And I pressure tested again, and it's still leaking just a little bit. And that needle that was in there is one of the old school red tips. And anyway, I just grabbed another needle and threw it in there. And I've got it pressure tested in just a little cup of gas. And it's holding nice and tidy. Um, but uh, now that the carburetor is nice and tight and not leaking anywhere, I think she should settle down and idle like she's supposed to and run a lot better. But, uh, you know, that is the nature of two strokes. You know, this primitive little engine with only a couple of moving parts, if everything's not just so, it won't run right. Anyway, so uh, let me get this button back up. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. And uh, I wasn't expecting this. But anyway, uh, you know, it's got to run right. You know, just because it's got a little hiccup every once in a while is completely unacceptable. Um, it's frustrating. Now that's more like it. Oldie but a goodie. Performance work, a bark box, fully ported, machine cylinder, timing advance, three point dogs. Let's uh, put this puppy in the wood.
fished it by that much. Anyway, I think she runs pretty dang good for a little 60cc saw. Chain's nice and hungry. That's my hexa hung ground that's on there. And uh, it's making it work for it. I got the rakers under 25. And uh, anyway, Justin should be pretty happy with that. She goes now. <laughs>